Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to run and get the exact report you need. First, let's cover how to run reports for different dates. By default, you'll see the reports for this week. Here, you can go back and forth between different weeks. To see a report for the whole month, hover over the date and you'll get choices like today, this month and so on. You can click on one of these or you can select some custom range by clicking on a day to set a start date and then clicking on another day to set the end date. Now, only the time for that period is shown. If you use the back and forth arrows now, you'll navigate between different bi-weekly periods. By default, reports consider Monday to be your first day of the week, but you can change it in profile settings and choose Sunday, for example. And then all your reports will go from Sunday to Saturday. You can also customize how the day is displayed in profile settings and indicate whether you wish to use the 24-hour format or a 12-hour AM-PM format. And in workspace settings, you can control whether you wish to see seconds or not. If you turn seconds off, know that all your entries will be rounded up to the minute. If you want to apply some custom rounding, here you can set rounding options and specify if you wish to round up, down or to the nearest 15 minutes or some other interval. Then when you open a report, you can turn on rounding and all individual entries will be rounded accordingly. This doesn't make any permanent changes to data, so you can turn rounding off and get the real values back at any time. Let's now see how you can use filters to control what data is shown. At the top of each report are filters. You can, for example, open the team filter, select a user, click filter, and the report will show you only the time for that person. Or you can select a client and see a breakdown of only their projects. If you want to narrow it even further, select a client and then select their project. Now, projects are grouped by clients, but if you don't organize your projects by clients, you can change it in the workspace settings to something else like project type. Then instead of filtering by client, you'll filter by type. If you want to find entries by some keywords in the description, you can type it here. This can be useful if your entries have a specific prefix or suffix. For example, if you track time on tasks that have some sort of ID, you can enter it here to see who worked on that task, how much and when. You can also see only the entries that are billable or non-billable as well as filter by tags. Because tags work across the whole workspace, they're useful for indicating status. For example, you can use tags to mark time as paid, invoiced, overtime or anything else you need. Then you can filter by tag using a contain logic or switch it to doesn't contain. For example, if you mark the time you've invoiced as billed, you can run a report called doesn't contain the build tag to see what you need to invoice. You also notice that most filters have the show active option. That's used when you want to specifically filter by something that's been archived. For example, if you archive a project, in order to filter by it, you'll first have to make the filter show archived projects. If you're in the summary report and wish to see all the time for some group in more detail, you can click on the item in the table and you'll get a detailed report for just that item. Or you can even open each item in a new tab to get multiple reports. 
Active filters are transferred between reports so you can easily switch between them. Next, let's see how you can customize and group data. The summary report can break down data any way you need. For example, if you wish to see time broken down by user, you can choose it here. You can also see a breakdown by client, project, tag, group, and date. You can further subgroup time. For example, you can break down time by date, subgroup by client, and subgroup by project. And then click on each group to reveal the details. If you want to see a breakdown by only one dimension, you can set the other two to none. You can also choose whether you wish to see the billable amounts you charge clients, your team's labor costs, or the difference between the two in the form of profit. So you can see which activities are most profitable. Alternatively, you can hide the financials altogether. In the weekly report, you can see the breakdown by user or by project. Plus, you can choose if you wish to see data for time or financials. If you need even more grouping options, you can export the detailed report as an Excel file and create pivot tables in Excel. There, you can generate any report you need. For example, you can create a report that breaks down financials by client, project, task and description for a super detailed cost breakdown. In the next video, we'll talk about sharing reports, personalizing PDFs and custom fields in your reports. So be sure to check that out. Thank you for watching.